back in the nice air conditioned studio. We got stuff. We got yes. Show and tell here. Alex Mary with Historic Auto Attractions is here and she's got three different famous people eras here. Good Hi. morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hello. So yes, I brought three different pieces with me. Um, different pieces from the museum. We have 25 different exhibit focuses, mm. but these are the, th the three. But focuses by mean, you mean like there's themes. automobiles, themes? Um, I would say exhibits. I wouldn't even just say automobiles. Okay. We have about 103 cars. Yeah, but you have so much but more But we have that. so much more yeah. than that. So here I have Harry Houdini's um, cuffs that he actually wore during a lot of uh, shows. We have a lot of different props actually on display. We have a trunk. We actually have one of his straight jackets as well wow. on display. So you'll be able to see this. These are these are these, these are the cuffs that he was able to rescue himself out of. Yes, okay. yeah, you can see the picture there. We don't have the full get up um, with his uh, feet and the body chain, but we yeah. at least have his his hands. Okay, Very cool. Yeah, and a lot of our um, pieces or our artifacts will have this um, certificate of authenticity just to show where we had it from, who we bought it from, things like that. Nice, okay. All right, and then moving on, we have this beautiful shawl. Who did this belong to? This was Jackie Kennedy's. Okay. So we have one of the world's largest Kennedy collections, um, including a bunch of her dresses that she wore during um, presidential meetings or parties, mm -hmm. gatherings. So this is just one of the key pieces that you'll see. It's one of the easier pieces that I could take out today. <laughs> <Transport>. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hopefully next time I can bring one of her full length dresses. We have a bunch of those on display as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And you can just see all the, like the stitch work is so intricate and beautiful Yeah, here. absolutely. And she was such a beautiful woman. I mean, she was a staple for fashion, let's uh, yeah. be real. And for <laughs> fashion, so that's you, for sure. It is far more than, than uh, it, it is people of history, people in history, people who made history that yes. you have been, like Houdini, like Jackie, Onat, uh, Jackie Kennedy. Yes. Uh, that you've been able to find all these items mm -hmm. or uh, that, that's, uh, I mean, it's a, it's certainly a walk through a, through history with. It really is. Or or you can sit through it too. I I got my eye on that rocking <laughs> chair over there. Yes, yeah, so this rocking chair actually was gifted by John F. Kennedy to Martin Luther King Jr. Wow. Oh, um, really? Yes, yes. We have this on display. He is actually Martin Luther King Jr. is next to our world um, historic world influencers and world leaders. Mm -hmm. um, actually, Monday will mark 60 years since the I Have a Dream speech. Oh, okay. hmm. So I thought that would be a really cool piece to bring in today. And you all, your collection is always growing, correct? It changes and evolves and yes. things get moved and stuff? Yes, so we just added three new dioramas to the museum, two uh, that are in the um, World War II Nazi area, and then we have um, a new diagram that was put in by um, the tractors and farming area. So when you're walking through, you'll definitely see those pieces. Hmm. And so then, there's some World War II uh, surrender documents that have been collected over the years. Is yes. this part of the, uh, the new edition? This is actually in the new edition. This grew um, from what it originally was. So he just had a bunch of uniforms and hats, and now he has um, documents. He has newspaper clippings. He, he being Wayne Lensing. He, he, yes, he, absolutely, the Wayne, um, the Wayne Lensing of, <laughs> of <laughs> historic auto attractions. <laughs> We actually have uh, the mantelpiece that Truman signed to have the atomic bomb dropped. We wow. have that wow. featured in this room as well. Wow. So, I mean, he started off just kind of collecting these historical items and then all of a sudden he has a full museum. <laughs> yes. More How than does that even happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it happened um, gradually, really. He started in 1995 and mm -hmm. then in 2001 he was able to open it up to the public. And, I mean, he, he loves the reaction from mm -hmm. people when they come through the museum. And I think people, I think it's a hidden gem. Not many people know of its size, that it even exists in the this, state line. And is this the Kennedy motorcade here? Is it, what is it? Yeah, so this first car is actually the, um, one of the replicas made of John F. Kennedy's car when he was assassinated. And that car behind is actually a real Secret Service car, the Secret Service car that was following behind. That was actually behind yes. on that November day in 19... Yeah, it, it's it's quite a, quite a collection. And it's grown over what recently? That you've added uh, what? Fifty six thousand square feet. That's a lot of square feet. <laughs> that's, yes, that's an add-on. <laughs> yeah, this is putting you on the spot. Do you have a favorite exhibit piece item? Oh, I do. I ha a special place in my heart goes to Miss Belvedere. Oh, she yeah. She is a um, nineteen fifty seventh. 
57 Plymouth Belvedere. She was put in a time capsule in Oklahoma um, in the town square of Tulsa and unveiled in 2017 to be rusted out completely. Oh. Interesting. She was put on stage and they unveiled her. There was a huge crack in her foundation into her time capsule, really. And she just, she just rusted and now we have her on display. She was not be able to be restored. Mm. So our team just was able to seal her and wow, cool. now she's just a, a beauty on display. Mar Mar Marta, you were mentioning it is a hidden gem yeah. because it is kind of off the beaten track there in Roscoe a little bit and kind of an industrial warehouse type setting. It is. But our pe see, people seem to be finding it. I've run into more and more people who said, have you been there <laughs> lately? And uh, it's huge. I love to hear that. Yeah, we've seen a huge growth over our summer. I mean, so many people from our state line coming in, from the Rockford, from Rockford land coming in, Chicago land coming in. Um, I mean, even travelers from Florida, Texas, they're like, oh, we went to dinner and somebody was talking about you at a, hmm. at a fishery. And we're like, oh, cool. really? <laughs> In Florida? Cool. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's been a great summer and we're hoping to continue that into the fall. What do you, you got any special events planned this fall? Oh, absolutely. I have uh, creative collections where I have key, um, or I shouldn't say key, uh, artisans and local business owners, they're going to be coming in. They're going to be able to sell their product um, oh. at Historic Auto Attractions. Cool. That's September 23rd. And then October 14th is our first um, Winding Through Time. It's a wine tasting event. Wine, I get it. Nice. <laughs> I know, you're, I'm you're, excited. You're, uh, <laughs> I'm super you're pumped. You're proud of that one, aren't I you? I am. <laughs> well, we're working with a local winery after, um, after the vine, and right. they're going to be providing um, different bottles that feature some of our exhibits. So the Wild oh, West is cool. going to be paired with a whiskey barrel wine. Okay. Very cool. To try. Okay. So, and then whoever buys tickets will actually get a souvenir glass with historic auto attractions on it. All right. So that what day? That's October 14th. October 14th. Yep. So you can find all that information at historicautoattractions.com. Yep. Uh, they're on Metric Road is basically uh, 251 and uh, Hunt and uh, Rockton Road, yep. yeah, and yep. it, it's uh, right there in Roscoe. And once you get on Metric Road, you won't miss it. It's kind of it, it's big. It's yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> once you, you once you drive down the street, you see a big building. That's it. And that's the one. <laughs> and uh, it is historic, and it's way more than autos. This is just a sample. You have Clearly, we have yeah. here of yes. what uh, what it is. So if you're oh, it's just a car museum. No, it's it's much more than that. Clearly not. Yeah. <laughs> yes, a lot of American history, a lot of world history. It's definitely worth visiting. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Alex. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Historicautoattractions.com. They're on Metric Road in Roscoe. We'll be right back.